and I'm doing it for my daughter. Did the Logan Paul Dylan Dennis fight happen yet? No. When is that tonight? It, uh, when I actually do want to know when it is. <laughs> Did you hear about that? What the I'm sure. Yeah. Which which part? Oh, the, the, the fucking stuff? the girlfriend stuff. Yeah, I've been watching that unfold on on Twitter. Lo it, I, Logan Paul can't ever come back from that. That's a L. <laughs> his, as, the, uh, as the kids would what say. What was the L? His fiance has to like all of Hollywood. Oh. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Man baby. She's been bouncing around. She's been, like, riff, She's like a bit riff, of a riff, pump. Riff rash. She's been getting pumped out, yeah. Hmm. Um, and I think she was like one of those like LA. Why I, doesn't he marry his brother? Uh, he should. I you know. He's better looking. I think his, 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 she's uh she's beat. Yeah, she's not. Uh, she's not cute. Now these are the guys that used to pay pay their dad to make out with their friends, right? Probably. Remember, what? Remember, Fina told me that I was almost on my knees in the mall one time. I was like, those guys, they seem kind of good. There's something good about them. She's like, oh yeah, I used to pay guys to make out with their dad. I was like, Wah! <laughs> I heard what? that. I didn't whoa, know they were gods. Whoa, Greg Paul make out? Oh yes. No. Oh, dude. Oh! Six years ago. Oh, that's not that's not good. I thought it was a like, boy. This is not a good thing. The girl's hot. They used to pay guys to kiss their dad. Isn't that's that awesome? Incredible. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yo! Popular. Oh yeah, we're in Japan so hot and so dyke. Yeah, they better get we this off the internet. From the shit. When you go and you click like to help me help my daughter. The same. Hurry up Kissing with the video. Yeah, yeah just kiss her. Ah, oh, right there. Hell yeah. You know he spins her around, not for one, ah uh, more, two, but for three times oh, a lady. Oh god, I get that. And so at the end, they're like, okay, who was the best? And she's like. Man, it's really hard. Get the little bitch over here. <laughs> you know, this is just the definition of a man who could just never leave. Looks his like me. School. Looks like just Louis C.K. Definition of a man who can kiss. Yeah. I thought that was the one of the craziest things I've ever heard. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, there was a different respect that I had for them after hearing this. <laughs> wow. Well, that was, these guys know how to have fun. One of my ideas was um, after the after the fight to be like, um, yeah, I'm actually one of the Paul brothers. Uh, Rent boys. <laughs> the other two, they don't want to talk about it, but um, our dad us a lot when we were little and <laughs> just something that we have to live with <laughs> like doing that in front of all those people get a real mean drunk on him and he would just really beat the shit out of us and just we used just, to nickname him single digits do some stuff you don't he started know. early <laughs> yeah single digits that's getting too gross anyway you know the toilets were big tongues in lex the old canadian sci-fi series from the 90s in the early 2000s, oh. they they sit on a on a hole and it's a huge tongue that that. Uh, that show was super gross. This show is unbelievable. Really? Oh wow! Did they like? Did they have like a on the tongues? The ship's fuel source was human. Was, it was like flesh. bio biomatter. So it would eat people to in order to fuel itself. Eat people and planets. It was like Disgusting. it was a planet eater. It was shaped like a huge. Oh. It's unbelievable. Who did that? It's Canadian legends. Lex was uh, the characters. Remember Kai, the undead, the the assassin. He's the last of he's the last of his kind. They made him an assassin for a few thousand years. It's so good. The lore is unbelievable. Remember Mantrid, Mantrid taking apart the entire universe with self replicating hands. They have to leave the they have to leave the universe to to get away, and then the story continues. It's so good. Mm. It's the best. Is the art direction good looking? It it looks it looked low budget and campy back then, but now it looks better than uh, superhero movies. Anything else? Yep. Anything. It looks. It, you, it's all inspiring. Two hundred million dollar budget. It's yeah. incredible. Like shitty green screen. You're like, oh, look at the way it looks. Yeah. It looks incredible. Who Back did? then. Yeah. What Canadian guys? This guy. Some guy. Johnny. John Candy, I think, John's was involved. Candy. In it. John Candy. Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Johnny Maverick, Dave Thomas. Rick Moranis. Uh, John Knoxville, I think, was involved in <laughs> Johnny it. Johnny Dingo. Yep. <laughs> Johnny Dingus. Mm -hmm. John. Six, I think it was. <laughs> John Sexton. <laughs> They're the best. That that crew, they Chris can make could be looking it up right now. Lex, oh, Lex blow your was a Lex animated series. Don't worry, no, it's like three names. The, and the music, <laughs> like Lex, the music L -A -L -E -X -X. is unbelievable. Like the intros for each season were, they were just unbelievable. The first season, they're four feature length movies, and then it went no to TV. Way, oh. Oh, the Brune and G theme the song, is so good. <laughs> Wikipedia is where we get our info from, which they wow. still refuse to put on Wikipedia that I'm a member of Mensa. Oh. oh. <laughs> They've taken it down multiple times. They don't want to admit that. They don't want to admit that. You're admit in the gang. That. Put it up on tour. 
<laughs> <laughs> Created by Paul Donovan, Lex Geigeroff, and Jeffrey Hirschfield. It's so, it will make you sick how good it is. Tim Curry was in it? Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer, dang. Yep. Wow. Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, Malcolm. It's just 61 episodes. It's Jesus incredible. Christ. Michael McManus. Michael McManus is the is some of the best work I've ever seen in my life is his work as Kai. It's the who, shockingly by, good. By the way, who's uh Leland in Twin Peaks? The uh fucking Bob something. I forget his name. Because I, I was watching Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah, he was in that. He was in an episode and it was a fantastic. That's the one when they were like the primitive people and they thought they were gods. And he's weeping to bring his <sighs> wife back. You can bring my wife back, can't you, Picard? He might be the greatest TV actor in he's, history. He's fucking off the chain. It's it, like when you watch it, it's not even like you're Ray watching Wise. a real man. It's like he's in the room with you. He's fucking he's, Ray he Wise. Is, he, he looks like off an the actor. chain. Unbelievable. Kind of like he's he was born. The, he's the one. Yeah, he was born at like a... Uh, 38 years old to be an actor to, to replace Michael Douglas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that twin, that, his performance in Twin Peaks is nuts. Unbelievable. It's, only, it's the reason to watch the show, really. He was in Robocop? Yeah, absolutely. He was, oh, he was, he was a random guys. henchman. He was Robocop. He was a bad guy in Robocop. I think he was yeah. Murphy. If you remember Murphy, <laughs> you know Murphy? Ray Wise. And that's not it. He's in, I mean, he's in so many Ray things, Wise. but everything he's in, it brings it a special quality. Those Please. character actors, they are the greatest. Yeah. They, yeah. They're, seriously, there are some like special, especially in those like mid 80s. Mm -hmm. Mid '90s, like yep. those, those like forever. We didn't value it like we would now. Those guys would yeah. be making um, forty million dollars mm -hmm. now. Like those types of actors, they wouldn't. Yeah. No, they wouldn't. It's just the triumph of. Uh, it's like the the excellence of the of the middle. Yeah, is what it is. The namelessness, and it's the same thing as. Um, uh, hmm. It's it's sort of related to the idea that uh, me mediocre athletes make the best coaches. Mm -hmm. You ever heard that? I didn't hear Because the people who have to think about it, as opposed to the talented. The talented can just ride by on their talent, but the people who really have to work for it are the ones who understand. I think that might be why these mm, yes. character actors are so... They're un, they're unreal. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, like they're Michael fucking, Ironsides. People don't know who that is, but he was the best movie he'll villain kick, forever. He'll kick your ass. He'll kick my ass. Even yeah. the memory of he'll him. He'll step in right here, and every, he's the only eyes on him, man. Yeah. He, he's yeah, incredible. He, those Michael guys start podcasting. God damn. It's over. Remember, when's the last time you saw Scanners? Yesterday. Oh, well, shit. I don't know why you want to talk about this. He's, Michael Ironside's fucking nuts. Yeah, he 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 bowled us over. He could have he could have kicked Arnold Schwarzenegger's ass. In, Imagine if in he life. was a Total big, Recall, a big life. action star like that. If they made nah, him, nah, he could have killed Arnold Schwarzenegger in that in that Total Recall movie. If he had let him go on him, he should yeah. have. He would have killed, killed Sharon. Don't let him go. He could have <laughs> killed the guy. Killed the guy's wife. Somebody Why get didn't him. He kill him? He killed the guy's wife. He could have killed the guy. And all I'll this shit was happening all in his head. You know what he would have did it with a he would have did it with a hand offset. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alec Baldwin comes they in. They would have missed the scene. They wouldn't have caught the scene. Oh, Sh fucking shot you. Shot by freaking Brandon Lee. <laughs> Killed oh, yeah. the same Brandon way. Lee guns. Brandon Lee's gun? Yeah. Did you buy that at auction? Yeah, I had That's to how see cool the Michael fragment Iron inside of it. <laughs> Michael Ironside owns Brandon Lee's gun. I want extra fragments. Mike yeah. McManus. I haven't seen him in anything else, but... He's never been in anything oh, else. Oh, I'm sure he's... He's been in a lot probably of things, did, though. Probably did. He's been in Diablo. He was in. He voiced all the characters, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lex. Even Michael oh, McManus. He's so good. It's shocking to see someone that good. What else was it? Maybe, mm. maybe he was in Twenty Four. I mean, like uh, Ray Wise. I mean, there was some, maybe it was just Star Trek. I'd always watch it. Always. Every time we see it, when I'm watching it with my wife, we see Ray Wise, and we know that we're in for a, a brutal. Station. Oh yeah! Wow, Whoa. he was in like Doobie Hauser, like, Saved by the Bell. Is this the same coach? fella here? Is this the same Michael McManus? Does he have? This, wow! Is Lex on this guy? That's from Lex right there, right? That screenshot. Uh, Am I wrong? No, about that? no, that doesn't look like him. Poltergeist, Hot Shots. Uh, no, it's a different guy. Different guy. Might have to go Lex straight up. Who played Lex in Lex? Uh, the guy that created it, Lex Donovan. Lex. It's unbelievable the Brian stupid Downey? shit in that show. And, it, and how they'd pass on, they'd pass on like their, no. the consciousness of the rulers. It was just so crazy. All right, hold, hold right here, Chris. Oh. Kai, who plays Kai? That's Michael McManus. It's Michael McManus? Yeah. Ah. Canadian actor. Try Michael McManus, 1962. Who is this guy? So good. To have a performance like that in a show is absolutely staggering. There's how, probably an IMDb link at the bottom of the page How many there. laughs? How much they must have been laughing? God. Makes you wonder. Fucking website. Website. Wow. I didn't expect him to look like that at all. He's oh, such wow. a god. An absolute god. Michael's credits include Dog Park. Paint cans. One episode, 61 episodes of Lex. One episode. Oh, wow, he really didn't do. 
He was really just a Lex type of guy. I he think was he was just so cops. good he retired after that. I think probably, yeah. He was in Top he Cops. He gave all he had. How could I possibly top this unless I do... Unless I do Top <laughs> Cops. They had the guy who played um, in Pauly Shore's movie. Can you scroll down to the uh, the cast? Pauly Shore. That guy. Hold on, stop right there. Uh... Who is the guy? Oh, there's Seth Whalen. There's you, Sean Whalen. Wrote Sean Whalen. So Sean Whalen. Yeah, he played the bad guy in the Polish show. Wow, movie. that guy's got a face on him. Wow, yeah. you see the first shot. Holy moly! His Instagram <laughs> presence is him <laughs> recalling celebrities that he's worked with. Oh, remember that? How do you wow. go about looking like that? Oh, did he have some good stories? Yeah, he's like worked. He's like one of those like those wow. guys who just been in a million movies. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Guy's got her. He's working with that guy, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with, the little, with the petite boy. That old guy. That old Greek guy. That guy's crazy. 